Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this episode, I'm gonna demonstrate to you how you can pull Alan Bradley PLC program and panel view program from the PLC and the panel view HMI itself. This is a full comprehensive explanation of what upload and download means in the context of Alan Bradley hardware. We'll start off with uh, trying to pull the uh, PLC program from a Control Logics PLC. So go in here. I've got the uh, studio open up here with uh, the older version of the program, and I'm going to try to read the program from the PLC into my computer, essentially pulling a backup here. So there's two ways to do it, to get online with the controller. That's how you have to do. First of all, on this online offline section here, you pull down this button here. There's this upload. Upload allows you to read the program from the PLC into your computer, right? Download is to write from the computer to the PLC. You just have to be careful on this one here. But uh, I want to take a long, long uh, route and just going to demonstrate to you how you can set up the setup, uh, the path, the CRP path. So uh, the control logics that I have is hooked up to a USB. So it's showing as USB 15, which I previously connected. So in order to change this, you're going to have to click on this uh, RS Lix, RS Who, I'm sorry. After your RS Who refreshes, on this window here, click on the PLC that you are trying to read the PLC program from. So this is the PLC, the target PLC that, or the source PLC that I'm trying to read from into my, uh, into my computer here. So select the PLC and now you'll click uh, upload here. Again, download is to write to the PLC, upload is to read from the PLC. Click upload. After which you'll be presented with this pop-up window here. Uh, telling you that the connector controller, this is the program that you have and this is the offline version that you have on your computer. In here, you would say upload. And once you click upload, it will uh, prepare all the necessary files and uh, all the necessary uh, uh, structures. And then we'll start uploading from the program from the PLC into your computer. Once the program is read from the PLC into the computer, you should see that the run mode and control OK, all these live values should come in here. So right now my PLC is in run mode and the key is on remote run. So that's how you read the program from the PLC into your computer. So now if you want to write from the computer to the PLC, you cannot do it. Uh, when you're online with the controller, right? You're online with the controller. What I mean by that is everything is showing green or red or or whatever the status is. So I'm actually live with the controller. You cannot do a complete download, right? So uh, in order to do a download, uh, you're gonna have to go offline first, and after that, once you go offline, uh, you can either use this option here, download, or you can do the RSU options like I showed you just now. So. That's one way to do it. Uh, the download, when you do a download, just be aware that the uh, the PLC will uh, stop running. So any processes that's fail safe will go to ESD state. So just be careful, right? If you do a download, this download is a full program download. You can do a download change, but uh, it's not part of this uh, demonstration. You can make line or uh, a rung or a shunt or a function block change. Uh, for one or two small changes that can be done on a live system, but you have to be online with the controller Go to the program and make those change. I'm not going to demonstrate that So the intent is to explain the difference between upload and download. So this that's how you do a, a backup or rather upload from the PLC to the um, uh, To the uh, your workstation and to download from the uh, computer to the PLC is the download. So the difference is upload and download. The next demonstration I'm gonna do would be to uh, make a backup of your panel view uh, program, runtime program into your computer. So for that, you're gonna need a tool called transfer, uh, ME transfer utility. Just type transfer on your windows here. When you click on it, it'll open a pop-up window uh, that allows you to transfer your runtime uh, MER file. So you, have, you probably have seen this before if you have written a runtime program to your panel view. So again, the same acronym applies. Download here, this download tabs here, uh, means to write to the, uh, to the panel view. Upload is to pull the runtime file back to your computer. Why would you want to do that? Maybe you want to keep a backup of runtime, and, uh, runtime uh, file 
or maybe you want to restore the runtime file into an application where you can edit using your factory talk studio so um, first of all you know to upload what you're going to have to do is select the storage type i know uh, i've stored uh, my panel view this is the panel view i'm be using that's online with the network i'm using my mer file on the internal storage if you have an external storage select appropriately then you click on this section here when you click on this section here, it gives you a window a browser like window to select the runtime file that uh, is in that panel view so this is my runtime file hit ok and then you upload but before I hit upload let me show you let's say if you do not find your panel view in here right how do you get this panel view because if you right click in here you know there's no way to add a device like what you do with the uh, RS who the way to add uh, your panel view in this list here would be to use the firmware upgrade tool so go to your windows here type firmware uh, ME firmware upgrade wizard click on this guy here in here just pretend as if you are trying to upgrade but we're not going to do upgrading right so go here upgrade firmware terminal next just say yes for this nothing is written so far don't worry about it so go to network connection click next once this window comes up click on the network that you want to add your panel view to say for example I want to add my panel view to this network right so I do have a lot of other panel view or uh, control logics in this network so right click add device and in here in order to find the device type panel view plus 7 performance like that and then select the version of your panel view say it's 11 click OK and then you enter the IP address say um, 92168. Uh, say 10.10 .10. this is a fictitious number so hit OK and then if it does find your panel you'll start looking for panel view I'm sorry uh, on that network and that's how you add a device in this tree here so if you click cancel here and then you go in here and hit delete it starts browsing as soon as you hit delete or hit F5 to refresh and if it does find your panel view your panel view will appear in this section here but nevertheless if you once you find this panel view and I found my panel view in here click on upload uh, it will say the folder directory doesn't exist because I haven't specified this destination here click on the destination here say I'm gonna put it on the desktop and just give it a desktop so this particular file we will be uploaded from the panel view into this desktop here so upload now I'm reading the uh, MER file or the machine edition runtime file from the panel view into my desktop as you can see uh, panel view uh, MER file is being slowly downloaded or rather uploaded from the panel view into my computer here okay once the uh, upload is complete you have this file now with this file you can actually run it using the uh, emulator or you can restore it using the uh, uh, the backup tools and whatnot okay so how this is how you pull the uh, MER uh, file from the panel view into your computer now if you want to push the same file back into your panel view you have to go to download and this here the source file will be a desktop in here this MER file and open and I'm gonna destination will be the internal storage that's where I'm putting it and then you can click on run on startup replace your communication driver and all that stuff once that's done click on download what this does is that it pushes the this file into the panel view and make sure you select the appropriate target again whichever the appropriate panel view you're trying to push the runtime file to okay that's it i guess uh i hope this tutorial helps if it does please subscribe and like other than that have a great day bye